Participatory Economics 28 Languages Participatory Economics, often abbreviated PERCON, is an economic system based on participatory decision-making as the primary economic mechanism for allocation in society. In the system, the say in decision-making is proportional to the impact on a person or group of people. Participatory economics is a form of a socialist decentralized planned economy involving the collective ownership of the means of production. It is a proposed alternative to contemporary capitalism and centralized planning. This economic model is primarily associated with political theorist Michael Albert and economist Robin Harnell, who describes participatory economics as an Anarchist Economic Vision 1. The underlying values that Perkin seeks to implement are, equity, solidarity, diversity, workers, self-management, efficiency, defined as accomplishing goals without wasting valued assets, and sustainability. The institutions of Perkin include workers and consumers' councils utilizing self managerial methods for decision-making, balanced job complexes, remuneration based on individual effort, and wide decentralized planning. In Perkin, self-management constitutes a replacement for the mainstream conception of economic freedom, which Albert and Harnell argue. By its very vagueness has allowed it to be abused by capitalist ideologues. 2. Albert and Harnell claim that participatory economics has been practiced to varying degrees during the Russian Revolution of 1917, Spanish Revolution of 1936, and occasionally in South America. 3. Work and Distribution, Edit Balanced Job Complexes, Edit a balanced job complex is a collection of tasks within a given workplace that is balanced for its equity and empowerment implications against all other job complexes in that workplace. 4. Compensation for effort and sacrifice, principle for distribution, edit. Albert and Harnell argue that it is inequitable and ineffective to compensate people on the basis of luck for example skills or talents that owe to their birth or heredity, or by virtue of workers' productivity, as measured by the value of the goods they produce. Therefore, the primary principle of participatory economics is to reward workers for their effort and sacrifice. 5. Additionally, participatory economics would provide exemptions from the compensation for effort principle. 5. The starting point for the income of all workers in a participatory economy is an equal share of the social product. From this point, incomes for personal expenditures and consumption rights for explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Public goods can be expected to diverge by small degrees, reflecting the choices that individuals make in between work and leisure time, and the level of danger and difficulty of a job as judged by their immediate workplace peers. 5. Allocation of resource, edit. Albert and Harnell argue that decentralized planning can achieve Pareto optimum, and does so under less restrictive assumptions than free market models, see, the first fundamental theorem of welfare economics. Their model incorporates both public goods and externalities, whereas markets do not achieve Pareto optimality when including these conditions. 6. 7. Facilitation Boards, Edit. Main Article Facilitation Board, Economics In a proposed participatory economy, key information relevant to converging on an economic plan would be made available by Iteration Facilitation Boards, IFBs, 
which, based on proposals from worker forward slash consumer councils and economic data, present indicative prices and economic projections at each round of the planning process. 8. The IFB has no decision-making authority. In theory, the IFB's activity can consist mainly of computers performing the agreed-upon algorithms for adjusting prices and forecasts, with little human involvement. 9. Motivations, Opposition to Central Planning and Capitalism, Edit. See also, Libertarian Socialism. Robin Harnell has argued that participatory planning is not central planning, stating the procedures are completely different and the incentives are completely different. And one of the important ways in which it is different from central planning is that it is incentive compatible, that is, actors have an incentive to report truthfully rather than an incentive to misrepresent their capabilities or preferences. 10. Unlike historical examples of central planning, the Perkin proposal advocates the use and adjustment of price information reflecting marginal social opportunity costs and benefits as integral elements of the planning process. Harnell has argued emphatically against Milton Friedman's a priori tendency to deny the possibility of alternatives. Friedman assumes a way the best solution for coordinating economic activities. He simply asserts there are only two ways of coordinating the economic activities of millions. Central direction involving the use of coercion and voluntary cooperation, the technique of the marketplace. A participatory economy can permit all to partake in economic decision-making in proportion to the degree they are affected by outcomes. Since a explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF participatory system uses a system of participatory planning instead of markets to Coordinate economic activities, Friedman would have us believe that participatory planning must fall into the category of central direction involving the use of coercion. 11. Albert and Harnell have voiced detailed critiques of centrally planned economies in theory and practice, but are also highly critical of capitalism. Harnell claims the truth is capitalism aggravates. Prejudice, is the most inequitable economy ever devised, is grossly inefficient, even if highly energetic, and is incompatible with both economic and political democracy. In the present era of free market triumphalism it is useful to organize a sober evaluation of capitalism responding to Friedman's claims one by one. 12. Critique of Markets Edit. Mainstream economists largely acknowledge the problem of externalities but believe they can be addressed either through cozy and bargaining or the use of pig of iron taxes, corrective taxes on goods that produce negative externalities. 13. While Harnell and Albert favor the use of pig of iron taxes as solutions to environmental problems within market economies over alternatives such as the issuance of marketable permits, he is critical about the regressive incidence of such taxes. Firms in a market economy will seek to shift the costs of taxation onto their consumers. While this might be considered a positive development in terms of incentives, since it penalizes consumers for dirty consumption, it fails to achieve the polluter pays principle and would instead aggravate economic injustice. 14. Harnell, therefore, recommends that pollution taxes be linked to cuts in regressive taxes such as social security taxes. Harnell is also critical of the mainstream assumption that externalities are anomalous and, on the 
whole, insignificant to market efficiency, he asserts instead that externalities are prevalent, the rule, rather than the exception, and substantial. 15. Ultimately, Harnell argues that Pigavian taxes, along with associated corrective measures advanced by market economists, fall far short of adequately or fairly addressing externalities. He argues such methods are incapable of attaining accurate assessments of social costs. Markets corrected by pollution taxes only lead to the efficient amount of pollution and Satisfy the polluter pays principle if the taxes are set equal to the magnitude of the damage. Victims suffer. But because markets are not incentive compatible for polluters and pollution. Victims, markets provide no reliable way to estimate the magnitudes of efficient taxes for. Pollutants. Ambiguity over who has the property right, polluters or pollution victims, free. Rider problems among multiple victims, and the transaction costs of forming and maintaining an effective coalition of pollution victims, each of whom is affected to a small but unequal degree, all combine to render market systems incapable of eliciting accurate. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Information from pollution victims about the damages they suffer, or acting upon that information even if it were known. 16. Class and Hierarchy, Edit Although Perkin falls under left-wing political tradition, it is designed to avoid the creation of powerful intellectual elites or the rule of a bureaucracy, which is perceived as the major problem of the economies of the communist states of the 20th century. 17, in their book Looking Forward Albert and Hanhol termed this situation coordinatorism. 18, for eight Perkin advocates recognize that monopolization of empowering labor, in addition to private ownership, can be a source of class division. Thus, a three-class view of the economy capitalists, coordinators, and workers, is stressed, in contrast to the traditional two-class view of Marxism. The coordinator class, emphasized in Perkin, refers to those who have a monopoly on empowering skills and knowledge, and corresponds to the doctors, lawyers, managers, engineers, and other professionals. In present economies, Perkin advocates argue that, historically, Marxism ignored the ability of coordinators to become a new ruling class in a post-capitalist society. 17. Innovation, Edit Harnell has also written a detailed discussion of Perkin's desirability compared to capitalism with respect to incentives to innovate. 19. In Capitalism patent laws, intellectual property rights and barriers to market entry are institutional features that reward individual innovators while limiting the use of new technologies. Harnell notes that, in contrast, in a participatory economy all innovations will immediately be made available to all enterprises, so there will never be any loss of static efficiency. 20. Criticism, Edit The market socialist David Schweikart suggests participatory economics would be undesirable, even if it was possible. It is a system obsessed with comparison, is your job complex more empowering than mine, with monitoring, you are not working at average intensity, mate, get with the program, with the details of consumption. How many rolls of toilet paper will I need next? Yeah. Why are some of my neighbors still using the kind not made of recycled paper? 21. Other criticism raised by Schweikart include, 22. 
difficulty with creating balanced job complexes and ensuring they do not suffer from inefficiency. A system based on peer evaluation may not work as workers could slack off and there would be little incentive for colleagues to damage their relationships by giving them bad reviews. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Alternatively it may cause workers to become suspicious of one another, undermining solidarity. A compensation system based on effort would be difficult to measure and would need to be based on an average rating system of effort. Perkins compensation system would be overly egalitarian and likely cause resentment among workers who work harder while also discouraging them from putting in extra effort since they will gain no greater compensation. Perkin would likely produce an onerous and tiresome requirement to list off all things people want produced, which would likely suffer from uncertainty given people do not always know what they desire, as well as issues with how much information they should be required to supply, and complexities with the negotiations required between worker and consumer councils. Theodore Burchak argues that it would be difficult for others to measure sacrifice in another's labor, which is largely unobservable. 23. Planning, Edit Further Information Economic calculation problem. Participatory economics would create a large amount of administrative work for individual workers, who would have to plan their consumption in advance, and a new bureaucratic class. Proponents of Perkin argue that capitalist economies are hardly free of bureaucracy or meetings, and a Perkin would eliminate banks, advertising, stock market tax returns and long-term financial planning. Albert and Harnell claim that it is probable that a similar number of workers will be involved in a Perkin bureaucracy as in a capitalist bureaucracy, 24, with much of the voting achieved by computer rather than meeting, and those who are not interested in the collective consumption. Proposals not required to attend. 25. Critics suggest that proposals require consideration of an unfeasibly large set of policy choices, 21, and that lessons from planned societies show that people's daily needs cannot be established well in advance simply by asking people what they want. 26. Albert and Harnell note that markets themselves hardly adjust prices instantaneously, 27 and suggest that in a participatory economy, facilitation boards could modify prices on a regular basis. According to Harnell these act according to democratically decided guidelines, can be composed of members from other regions and are impossible to bribe due to Perkins' non-transferable currency. 28, however, Takis Photopoulos argues that no kind of economic organization based on planning alone, however democratic and decentralized it is, can secure real self-management and freedom of choice. 26. See also, edit. Anarchist economics. Anarcho-syndicalism. Collaborative e-democracy. Cooperative. Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. Economic democracy. Inclusive democracy. Libertarian municipalism. Participatory politics. Social justice. References, edit. 1. Carrot Albert, Michael Perkin. Life After Capitalism archived the 16th of October 2008 at the Wayback Machine. Chapter 19 Individuals Forward Slash Society. 2. Carrot Albert, Michael, Harnell, Robin, Cotts, David M. Dot, Anil, John, 2002. In Defense of Participatory. 
Economics, Science and Society. 66, 1728 10.1521 forward slash SISO.66.1.7.210015. ISSN 0036-8237 JSTA 40403950 3 Carat Introduction Participatory Economics Retrieved 29 January 2024 4 Carat Balanced Jobs Participatory Economics Retrieved 27 September 2020 5 Carat ABC Albert Michael Perkin, Life After Capitalism Part 2, Chapter 7, Remuneration PP. 11217. 6 Carat Albert, Michael, Harnell, Robin, 1992. Participatory Planning. Science and Society. 56, 13959. ISSN 0036-8237. Just a 4040326. 7 Carat Albert, Michael, 1991. The Political Economy of Participatory Economics. Robin Harnell. Princeton. NJ, Princeton University Press. ISBN 0 691 04274 8. OCLC 22766907 8 Carat Participatory Planning Participatory Economics Retrieved 8 January 2024 9 Carat 13 Allocating Z Communications Retrieved 8 July 2015 10 Carat Economic Justice and Democracy From Competition to Cooperation P221, Harnell, Routledge. 2005, ISBN Missing. 11 Carat Economic Justice and Democracy, From Competition to Cooperation P81, Harnell, Routledge, 2005. 12 Carat Economic Justice and Democracy, From Competition to Cooperation Chapter 4, Harnell, Routledge, 2005. 13 Carat Pigavion Tax. Investopedia. Retrieved 7 December 2021. 14 Carat Economic Justice and Democracy, From Competition to Cooperation, P274. 15 Carat Economic Justice and Democracy, From Competition to Cooperation, P85. 16 Carat Robin Harnell. 2004. Protecting the Environment in a Participatory Economy. Retrieved. The 13th of February, 2006. 17 Carat A.B. Michael Albert, the 20th of April, 2008. Perkin and Marxism. www.scommunications.org. Archived. From the original on the 26th of February, 2012. 18 Carat Albert, Michael, Hanhol, Robin, 1990. Looking Forward, Participatory Economics for the 21st. Century. South End Press. ISBN 978-0896084056. Nineteen Carat Economic Justice and Democracy, From Competition to Cooperation P241, Harnell, Routledge. 2005. Twenty Carat Economic Justice and Democracy, From Competition to Cooperation P240, Harnell, Routledge. 2005. Twenty One Carat A.B. Schweikart, David. January 2006. Michael Alberts Perkin, A Critique. Archived from the original on the 11th of July 2015. Retrieved the 8th of July 2012. 22 Carat Schweikart, 
David Nonsense on Stilts, Michael Alberts Perkin, January, 2006, Loyola. University Chicago, accessed the 11th of December, 2018. 23 Carat Birchak, Theodora Socialism after Hayek. pp. 14344. Explore our developer friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF. 24 Carat Michael Albert and Robin Harnell, Looking Forward pp. 8689. 25 Carat Participatory Economics by Michael Albert Znet Article. Z Communications. The 19th of November, 2008. Retrieved the 17th of August, 2010. 26 Carat AB Takis Photopolos, 2003, Inclusive Democracy and Participatory Economics, Democracy and Nature, Volume 9, Issue the 3rd of November, 2003, pp. 40125. 27 Carat Michael Albert, Perkin. Life After Capitalism, p. 282. 28 Carat Michael Albert and Robin Harnell, Looking Forward pp. 92-93. Further Reading, Edit. A Quiet Revolution in Welfare Economics, Albert and Harnell, Princeton University Press. 1990. Looking Forward. Participatory Economics for the 21st Century, Albert and Harnell. South End Press, 1991. The Political Economy of Participatory Economics, Albert and Harnell, Princeton University. Press, 1991. Moving Forward, Program for a Participatory Economy, Albert, A.K. Press, 1997. Perkin, Life After Capitalism, Albert, Verso Books, 2003. Economic Justice and Democracy, From Competition to Cooperation, Harnell, Routledge. 2005. Realizing Hope, Life Beyond Capitalism, Albert, Z Press, 2006. Real Utopia, Participatory Society for the 21st Century. Chris Spanos, ed., AK Press, 2008. Takis Photopoulos, 2003, Inclusive Democracy and Participatory Economics, Democracy and Nature, Volume 9, Issue 3 November, 2003, pp. 40125 A Comparison with Inclusive Democracy. Ramiz Rahman, Michelle Nopoda, David Hales, Johan Powells, Henk Sips, 2009. Revisiting Social Welfare in P2P, Delft University of Technology Report. Applying. Participatory Economics Principles to Analysis of Peer-to-Peer -peer Computing Systems. Categories, Anarchist Economic Schools Criticism of Intellectual Property. Economic Democracy Economic Ideologies Economic Planning Economic Systems Participatory Democracy Social Anarchism Socialism Explore our developer-friendly HTML to PDF API printed using PDF Crowd HTML to PDF